I'm in a reading slump. Hi, if you have made it to this tiny corner of YouTube, welcome, I'm happy to have you here. My name is Andy, I'm a chaotic reader, and in today's video I will attempt to cure my reading slump by putting together a summer TBR list. Let's see. I have my little notion page here that I already set up with a cute cover picture. I already chose an emoji, a title and a Kanban view because I kind of like this like board type of view for organizing the books that are still on my TBR list, the ones that I'm currently reading and I will pull all the books that I already read in the third column. I will use these little cards to represent each book and I will also add the genres because I like seeing at first glance which genre each book belongs to. So I'm going to start with the ones that I'm already currently reading. So I started Emily Wilde Encyclopedia of Fairies just a couple of days ago by Heather Fawcett. So I'm going to put it on the list and it goes to the currently reading column and the genres are fantasy, romance, and kind of historical because I think it takes place in like 19th century, I could be wrong, but I'm gonna put it on the historical um, genre as well. And you can see I use these genre categories basically as tags and they are already displayed on the little cart, which makes me really happy. Just for the fun of it, I'm gonna add like a little icon to each of these books because I think there are emojis that can represent these books very well and I can also have a nicer overview this way. So Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies. I wanna put like a fairy, obviously, as an icon. And then you see it displayed um, on the card as well. So I'm gonna start the TBR column with a book that I've never heard of. Honestly, I had this idea last time I was in the bookstore because ever since I consume so much um, social media in connection with books, I basically go to a bookstore and my mind goes on like analysis mode and I know like which book is popular, which book got like bad reviews from other people that I follow. And it's a little bit of a weird idea that I usually don't give books a chance that I've heard like bad reviews about, even though it's possible that I would like it. It's just that other people didn't. So I made it like a little personal goal of mine over the summer to go to a bookstore and to pick up a book that I've never heard of and just see how it goes. Like I'm gonna check the cover, I'm gonna check the blurb and if I like it, I'm gonna get it and I'm gonna read it. Because yeah, I think we should all give more books a chance than the ones that you hear about on social media. So this is going to be a book I've never heard of genre. Chances are it's either gonna be fantasy, romance, contemporary, or historical. I do want to read more mysteries, but I can't seem to find ones that truly interest me. So maybe this um, unknown book is gonna be one of them. But if you have good like mystery recommendations, let me know in the comments below because I want to expand my horizons a little bit when it comes to reading genres, but I haven't yet found a mystery book that truly intrigued me. And for that card, I'm going to give a question mark emoji because even I don't know what this might be. Then another book that I'm also currently reading is Belladonna by Adeline Grace. I mentioned it in my series video that I would like to read this book and I already went ahead and got the Kindle version of it and I started it and it's so good so I'm hoping to finish it um, very soon and then I'm also gonna be one of those people who is eagerly awaiting the sequel which I think is gonna come out sometime after the summer or maybe end of summer sometimes around summer if I'm not mistaken so yeah Belladonna by Adeline Grace is one of the books on my summer TBR list but it is one that I'm currently reading and it is historical romance and fantasy just for the fact that I put fantasy in the first place, I would like to have the same order on this book as well, so that the little color tags match. Another book that I would like to have on my TBR, and I'm pretty sure that you all um, heard about a lot as well, is Divine Rivals by Rebecca, if I could spell, by Rebecca 
Ross that has been making some waves both on Bookstagram, Booktalk, Booktube and it is one that I have my eyes on as well. It is of course historical romance and I don't think it's fantasy. It is fantasy actually. Um, so I was mistaken. It is fantasy, romance and historical. I think you can see like a theme here of what kind of books I usually go for. And just for the sake of it, since the Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia and Belladonna I'm already reading so I don't need like a teaser for it or like a, how do you call it, something to make me want to pick it up. But here I am going to um, copy the description that they have on Storygraph just for the sake of quickly assessing it from here and then I can go ahead and decide which book I want to pick up next. And the Divine Rivals one, I will add this emoji because based on what I know about this book, it would fit uh, the theme. The only thing I'm a little bit upset about is that currently in Austria in the bookshop, I've only seen this type of cover, which makes it a little bit seem like very YA or like almost middle grade to me. And I want to get this cover. Um, I'm not sure if this is the UK or the US cover. I'm not sure, but basically I would like to get this cover if possible, but I haven't been able to find it in the Austrian bookstores here. So that is going to be Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross. And it is definitely something that I want to pick up as soon as possible to see what the hype is all about. Then next book is also one that you must have heard a ton about. And funnily enough, it's also by the author whose first name is Rebecca but it's Rebecca Yaras, I think she pronounces it. I spell it correctly, yes. And it is none other than Fourth Wing. That makes everyone be in their dragon era once more. So I definitely have my eyes on it as well. It is about dragons, dragon riders, supposedly um, enemies to lovers-ish, which always a good time for me. And given that the main character seems to be 20 year old, I would assume this moves more into the new adult genre rather than young adult, which is definitely something I appreciate. So it is also fantasy romance. So we have The Fourth Thing by Rebecca Yaros. And of course, this one is gonna get a cute little dragon as an icon. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, I plan to have around 10 books on this list. I think that's um, feasible for the usual pace that I read in. And also I have a bunch of things to do this summer. I might be starting a new job. I have my best friend's wedding to plan and to participate in. So yeah, I'm going to be rather busy these few months. So I think 10 books should be just the right amount to read over the summer. We are currently at five. So we have three books in the TBR list. A book I've never heard of, Divine Rivals, Fourth Wing. Two I'm currently reading, uh, The Encyclopedia of Fairies and Belladonna. And I also looked more on the contemporary side, so these are all fantasy and romance reads. And I also want to look into more contemporary books. I think summer is just the time that I usually have the urge to read contemporary, so Obviously this book is about summer. It's called Every Summer After by Carly Fortune. This one, I think I also heard about through book social media. Um, and that is one that, honestly the cover caught me. Like it looks like a really nice movie poster. So I was intrigued by the cover, not gonna lie but also the description sounds really cool. I haven't read anything from the author yet, so that it's definitely something that I want to check it out. And it seems like an ideal summer read since it takes place uh, during summer. And if I'm not mistaken, it's a second chance romance, which I'm not always the biggest fan of, but this one sounds interesting enough for me to check it out. So this is contemporary, but also romance. Will I read a book in the summer that doesn't contain romance? Highly unlikely. Something else that I'm also wanting to read and potentially we are gonna read it for our book club is Bunny by Mona Avad. I'm also pretty sure I don't need to introduce this book to you. 
it was making some waves over book social media, I think, maybe a couple of months ago, maybe around autumn uh, last year. A lot of people are very confused by this book, so I'm super interested to see how we all read it and how we're gonna discuss it in the book club. But yeah, I'm gonna have Bunny on my TBR as well. And it is actually, well, it doesn't fit any of the genres that I already put in here, but I guess I will add another one which, which is literary and that is the genre that I'm going with. I am curious about the horror marking here. So let's see, but I definitely have my eyes on Bunny and at around 300 pages, it should be a fairly quick read and I'm really excited to discuss it. And of course the icon here should be nothing else but a little bunny. I am currently at seven books. So there is one more that I already know I'm going to be interested in and it is The Blonde Identity by Ellie Carter, I think. I haven't really seen much about it, but I follow um, the author of The Ballad of Never After and Once Upon a Broken Heart, Stephanie Garber on Instagram. And she posted about it that she's looking forward to this new release. And honestly, it sounded like a really cool concept. So it's about, it's not young adult, but it's an adult um, book. And it's about a woman with amnesia who discovers she is identical twin sisters of a rogue spy. And she must team up with a rugged, grumpy operative to stay alive. So it's a little bit like, well, it's not a little bit, it's all about spies and spy themes. And it would be something different from what I usually read but also the the setting sounds really unique and the cover is really cool. I like this like color block um, kind of style. So it sounded really intriguing and I have it on my list. I think it comes out toward the end of the summer. I'm not sure how it's going to go in Austria because we usually get uh, English book releases a little bit later, given that we are not an English speaking country. So let's see, but if you haven't heard about it, you should check it out because what can be better than reading about spies in a kind of like rom-com setting. As for an emoji, I'm gonna go with a female spy because that just makes it look cool. So I am currently at eight books. There is one more that I definitely know. I'm going to try to pick up during the summer and it is better than the movies by Lynn Painter. I think it's a little bit of an older book. No, actually it came out two years ago, never mind. I thought it was a little bit older, but it is a contemporary romance book for sure. And one that I've heard only good things about. Like not a lot of people mention this on their channels or on their recent reads, but everyone who read it seemed to really like it. I mean, on Storygraph, it has like 17,000 reviews and average rating is 4.2. That's really good. So it's definitely one I would like to check it out. And it sounds like a really cool, not necessarily summary, but kind of like fluffy rom-com. And it is about fake dating and like next door neighbors falling in love, which is a very cute concept. So it's probably going to be a really nice beach read or just a book to pick up when I'm traveling from one place to another. And better than the movies, I will have a film frame as an emoji. And it also goes to my TBR list. Now at nine, I've actually run out of books that I've had in my mind for picking up next during summer. So I also thought about, I might just go for picking up two books from the bookstore that I've never heard about. One mystery and one romance, contemporary fantasy, whichever catches my fancy more. But I think for now, this nine books should give a really good start for me. I will amend this then to be two books I've never heard of to widen my horizons a little bit when it comes to reading. And all the other ones on the list are books that I definitely want to pick up. I think I might go for 
either the Divine Rivals or Fourth Wing next after I'm finished with Belladonna and the Encyclopedia of Fairies. But it's also possible that I'm gonna gravitate more toward Every Summer After or Better Than The Movies just because I usually read a fantasy and then I go to contemporary so I don't, um, how do you say, it, like overwhelm myself with too much fantasy after fantasy after fantasy when I'm reading. So it's entirely possible that I'm going to gravitate towards more the contemporary books on the list. Not the Blonde Identity because it's not out yet, currently in June, but it's also possible that I will just do a little uh, book shopping and pick up two books that I've never heard of and hopefully pick up some mystery novels because I really want to get into those over the summer months. So let's see, I will probably update you guys either in reading videos or on my bookstagram about the books that I'm going to read next. But for now I have this neat little TBR list and I'm fairly satisfied with it. So this is how it's going to stay. Of course, this is only a framework. I'm a chaotic reader for a reason, so it's possible that I'm gonna pick up next an entirely different book than what's on the list or I'm not going to get to maybe two of the books on the list. I'm usually a huge mood reader, so I just read whatever um, I'm in the mood for, obviously. So let's see how accurate this list is gonna be over the summer. But I hope you enjoyed. I hope I could show you some titles that you weren't aware of or that you forgot about and that now you feel excited to pick up as well. Let me know if any of you has read uh, Divine Rivals or The Fourth Wing and what you think about it. And if you have any mystery recommendations, please leave them in the comments below because I would love to check out more mystery reads over the summer. That was it for today's video. Next, I'm going to tell you all about my April and May reads in the next video. So see you there and take care. Bye.